Packet Trap Perspective was built with a load and go philosophy to make sure that we can get Perspective set up as quickly as possible so you can get visibility into your network immediately. The first step in accomplishing that is setting an administrative user for Perspective. So in step one, you would enter a username, admin, or a friendly name if you would like, the administrator's email address, and a password. This username and password are going to be what you use to log into the Perspective Studio or the web GUI the next time. The second step of getting you going is setting your SMTP. These are very critical settings to ensure that you get alert notifications from Perspective when problems arise on the network. The first thing is enter a from email address. Here I have set up alerts at packettrap.com. Secondly, enter SMTP server. Third is enter the port. If you require the additional authentication mechanisms on your Exchange server, go ahead and enter them right here. I do want to mention that Packetrap offers a SMTP failover service. So if your Exchange server does fail, Packetrap will relay the alert notifications from your uh, prospective server through our system to ensure that you get them of potential problems on your network. Then finally, you can go ahead and enter an email address and hit send to verify that the email configurations that you've established actually are correct. So our SMTP send succeed and you'll get a test email to this email address. Now we hit next and it takes us to the third step of setup. The third step is running, actually running network discovery and loading the perspective system with devices from your network. So you would simply enter the range um, of your an IP range. Perspective automatically identifies the IP uh, range that the host server is sitting on. We will walk you through different techniques to discover the devices. And then finally, you can enter different credentials. By default, public is selected. If you need to add, uh, add additional credentials, simply hit manage credentials, hit new, and assign and create the new credentials for your system. Once you've created those, they're available to all devices in perspective. I'm going to simply go ahead and run public and then I hit next to initiate the network discovery. Now during this network discovery phase, perspective is identifying all the devices, validating if SNMP succeeds or not, and then determine the type of device that is on your network. Now that network discovery is complete, you can see the summary list of results here. You can see, for example, that if SNMP responded or not, you can see the type of device um, and the role of that device within your network. Hit next. Now that we've hit next, it's going to take the profile that we've that perspective is found on those devices and assign those to a smart policy. While perspective is highly customizable, we use smart policies to give out-of-box recommendations on what should be monitored on a device. For example, if it's an Exchange server, making sure the, that the Exchange application is going to be monitored. You can see the policy assignments on the right-hand side. For example, six devices during our discovery have been assigned to the networking policy. Those are probably Cisco, HP Pro Curves, etc. Servers, which is probably our Exchange server and file server. Desktops. VMs automatically identifying our ESX servers and putting them into the associated policy. If you have a lot of devices that drop into the default policy, then more than likely SNMP was not enabled on that device and we'll have to walk you through enabling that as well. Finally, hit finish. And you can see that Perspectives dropped you into um, the dashboard section and immediately is monitoring the devices on your network. So in the span of probably about two to three minutes, um, Perspective will automatically identify all the devices on your network and immediately start monitoring them. And from here, um, if you wanted to take additional steps, you can go to your devices section that gives you a list of all the different devices that were discovered and um, the information that's started to collect on those devices. 
If you wanted to modify your smart policies, you could simply select policies and start the modifying the existing policies or create new ones. If you'd like more information on how to configure each of the sections, please check out the videos for um, those sections. Thank you.